Hi, today I wanted to show you how the badge works in Rapid Weaver Classic. So I'm going to jump right into preview mode in my demo project and you'll see the badge pops in in the corner of the website and as I navigate around you'll see it pops in on each page. Now you can change the settings for, for the badge in the general settings. Now I know some people don't want the badge to appear when they start a new project um, and if that's the case you can just switch it off in here or for all new projects you can go to the preferences and you can uh, uncheck this and that will disable the badge from appearing on new projects so if i go up to new project and i add a page and then go to general you'll see it's off by default So, okay, I closed that uh, new project and I'm back to my existing demo project here. Um, so I was just gonna go over quickly how to change some of the settings for the badge. So in here, um, you can obviously toggle it on and off. You can change the text that appears, the icon, the URL, and the alt text uh, for the image. You can also change how it appears in your website. Um, the visibility for the position and whether it appears on mobile or not at the moment it's set to appear on all devices but if I uncheck these it would only appear on mobile and again if I don't want it to appear on mobile I can just click that um, so uh, let's go and have a look at that so if I press uh, simulate you'll see on the main site it pops in here but on the uh, simulator on an iPhone the badge doesn't appear and that is because I have unchecked it. Um, you can also pick the color scheme if your website supports dark and light mode this will do it automatically. This is really based on the system preferences um, but if you want to force it to be to work with a light site or a dark site you can do that here. You can also change the animation um, so at the moment it slides in and the time delay is set to one second but you could make that five seconds or you could make it slide in on scroll and this is when we scrolled 30 percent of the website so if we go ahead and preview now you'll see it doesn't appear but if i start scrolling it pops in we can also customize it um, so let's change the uh, text here and I'm also going to change the graphic I've got this little uh, emoji here um, and I'm going to drop that in it was already in my resources so that's why rapid weave is prompting me there we can um, change the URL here uh, you know I could send that to support and the uh, alt text can be hand waving and when you click that link it's going to open it in a new window um, and I might want this to appear in the top right um, and I'm going to have it uh, fade in and let's make it fade in after two seconds all right so if I go back here uh, we'll wait and there we are it's uh, faded in at the top and, um, and we'll click to the other page and you can see it go there now if I had linked, if I wanted this uh, button to link to my uh, contact page, and when I went to the contact page, I wouldn't want it to appear on here. Um, so what we can do is um, we can add some CSS so to make the badge not appear on certain uh, websites. So I'm going to open the Rapid Weaver docs here, which are docs.realmaxsoftware.com. And I'm going to go to the features and I'm going to go to uh, site badge and there's some code in here and this little bit of code will hide the badge. So I'm going to copy that, go to here and I'm going to paste it in my CSS code for the page for the contact us page and you'll see the badge instantly disappears. So it appears on the home page and when I go to contact us it's disappeared and you can see I don't have the CSS there and it appears and I do there. So the badge is super flexible um, and can be used for all manner of things. You know, you can um, link it to a store, you can uh, show your support for something, uh, you can 
uh, leave it on and show that your website's made with Rapidweave if you like. Uh, you know, that would uh, that's what we would prefer you did. But it's it's really flexible and you can use it for whatever you like. And don't forget to come and check out the document um, here because this will tell you how uh, you can customize the CSS properties for the badge and you can have some fun playing around and, and changing the look of the badge and the size of the text, the colors, etc. All right, uh, so that was a quick overview of how the new badge feature works in Rapid Weaver. I hope that was useful and I will see you in the next one.